misleading Meghan Markle and Harry statement allowed them to keep a huge secret. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry did everything they could to keep the birth of their son, Archie Mountbatten Windsor, secret, but a strangely misleading statement from Buckingham Palace meant fans knew the time was near. When it came to welcoming their first child into the world, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry had no intention of following royal tradition. While many praised their decision to keep Archie's arrival private, and many people began to question the fact we expect royal mums to pose for photos just a few hours after giving birth, others were disappointed at the lack of updates and felt the public had a right to know. The couple kept the place of birth secret, meaning well-wishers and media couldn't wait outside waiting for the royal birth. Instead, there was radio silence from the Sussexes and a strangely misleading announcement from Buckingham Palace, which allowed them to keep the birth secret for even longer. At 2.30 p.m. on May 6, the official royal family Twitter account tweeted, The Duchess of Sussex went into labor in the early hours of this morning. The Duke of Sussex was by Her Royal Highness's side. An announcement will be made soon. This sparked a lot of excitement and confusion, as people didn't know if this meant she was still in labor or if the baby had already been born. It was the latter, and the couple had met their little boy several hours before. Shortly afterwards the palace's tweet went live, the Sussexes told the world their exciting news, posting in its a boy picture on their popular Instagram page. The caption read, we are pleased to announce that their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge welcomed their firstborn child in the early morning on May 6, 2019. Keep up to date with all the latest news from the Queen, Charles, Wileem, Kate, Harry, Meghan, George, Charlotte, Louis and the rest of the family. We'll send the best royal news directly to your inbox so you never have to miss a thing. Their Royal Highness's son weighs 7 pounds 3 ounces. The Duchess and Baby are both healthy and well, and the couple thank members of the public for their shared excitement and support during this very special time in their lives. More details will be shared in the forthcoming days. In his new biography about Princes William and Harry, Battle of Brothers, Robert Lacey discusses the Sussex's decision to break from the royal rule book. He writes, the Portland Hospital did its job efficiently and confidently through the night of May 5, 2019. On the morning of 6 May, Meghan was duly delivered of her delayed but healthy baby son, weighing in at 7 pounds 3 ounces. Baby Archie had arrived with the dawn at 5.26 am, allowing grandmother Doria and the happy couple to return to Windsor with their precious cargo undetected. Their stratagem was bolstered by Buckingham Palace's putting out a strangely misleading statement at 2 p.m. that day saying that the Duchess of Sussex was just going into labor, when she had, in fact, been delivered of her new son eight hours earlier. Harry and Meghan had played fast and loose with both royal tradition and truth, but for once they had successfully outwitted the hated press.